So uh, my name is Gary Drummond. I'm the founder of a company called uh, 802 Secure. 802 is nothing more than the technical name for wireless. So 802 Secure specializes in wireless network security. So yeah, great question. So with the whole explosion of the Internet of Things, almost everything comes with a little Wi-Fi chip in it. So during the Christmas period, even teddy bears have got Wi-Fi chips in it. Now, a lot of customers don't know that a lot of that information is being extracted from all these devices that you mentioned and maybe going via China or Russia and then coming back into your home. There's also been uh, recent documentation of hacking smart homes, if you're familiar with that, whereby they're taking control of your televisions, taking control of your, 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 your microwaves and turning them on and turning them off, and, and Nest you know, the thermostat, they're all running some sort of wireless communications. So what 802 Secure does with their Internet of Things Wi-Fi security, we're identifying everything that has an RF emission and we prevent it from being exploited in the home. So um, we're, we're, we're a relatively new company. Uh, we're still very much in the garage. So we're a Silicon Valley garage startup. And we've executed uh, technology agreements with AT&T. So AT&T is potentially going to be our partner for the Internet of Things, taking our technology into the home. We have a couple of trademarks. One's called the Internet of You. I'm not too sure if you're familiar with that terminology. But this is our, um, our, our play within the home consumer market, being able to protect you know, our, cons our consumers, our customers in the home via the AT&T Uverse platform or Digital Lives, which is their home security platform. Our software, we're a software company, and it can easily be embedded into their technology, giving continuous uh, you know, visibility into the wireless risks and threats that IoT brings to the market now. So that's a good question. So the, the BYOD, or the Internet of Things, your know, customers, well, um, you know, uh, you know, employees are coming in with their new, you know, Fitbits, which is, has, you know, RF communications on it. Uh, the whole bring your own device, tablets and cell phones, all have Wi-Fi, and they're typically paired to a cell phone which has corporate data on it. So what we have is we have a sensor that's monitoring the air on a continuous basis, and it's allowing you to enforce your first line of defense, either allow or deny that type of Wi-Fi traffic. Um, there's other areas that we, you know, um, specialize in such as advanced rogue detection uh, which is probably number the number one attack vector uh, for, for corporate companies um, another area is even with strong encryption with the right hacking tools um, the strong encryption can be cracked so what we're doing at 802 security is we're giving our customers a, a, an offensive a proactive approach to being able to identify rogue access points on the network you know be able to validate the strengths and weaknesses of their encryption schemes we're looking at the whole BYOD, Internet of Things, all these RF emissions, and we're we'll able to make sense of is it a threat to the business, yes or no. So what was very important about the system is that when the system does its proactive penetration testing, it's now fingerprinting the unique strengths and weaknesses of that environment. So when we see an attacker come into the environment, we just need two or three frames that are in non-compliance, and then we can reroute that traffic to a deceptive network preventing them from actually hitting the production network in the first place. So we have this product called Air Decoy, which is our enterprise play, which is nothing more than a deceptive network in the air. And it allows us to gather this wireless threat intelligence to be able to finger print these new attacks, uh, such as IoT attacks, through attack a tool profiling. So a lot of attackers change their MAC address, they change their IP address. But how do you know if it's a real threat to the business? Well, this new technique called attack a tool profiling is what we're doing uh, with the 802 Secure solution. Well, I've been in the, the network security space for about 20 years. For the last 10 years, I've been specialized in wireless. And uh, I know the risks and threats associated with the, the, the frequencies, 2.4 and 5. And with the whole explosion of you know, IoT, what I'm seeing now is the attackers are coming through via 2.4, the standard, and they're exfiltrating via 900 or 800 megahertz. So the innovation um, that's, um, that's driving me is being able to have a customized software-defined radio that 
monitors 900 and 800 and 700 and 600 megahertz so that we can see not only the infiltration but also the exfiltration. So I'm just very passionate about wireless and I believe it is the number one attack vector. And so what's interesting at Secure World, there is very few vendors here doing IoT, there's no one doing software defined radio. So 802 Secure is on the bleeding edge of being able to secure the wireless threats uh, and risks that are now uh, being pre presented to us as a corporate business, being innovative in that space. So, so for the last 10 years, I, I did specialize in wireless security, but it's a reactive control. So in other words, it's kind of after the fact. It's, it's the questions in the, on the boardroom is, how did they get in? What did they steal? So with the 802 Secure Solution, we're moving the customer away from being reactive to proactive. And the proactive penetration testing that we're doing and fingerprinting, the BYOD and the rogues and the, the, the encryption schemes for authorized access points. So what we're doing is that we're giving the customer for the first time this offensive, proactive approach to fingerprint their strengths and weaknesses. And then when we see um, you know, a deviation of policy, right, or we see a, a vulnerability being exploited, we route that traffic. So the second thing we do is we're moving the customer away from being just um, monitoring a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, environment to software-defined radio, which gives them the full spectrum. And our whole tagline at 802 Secure is about providing visibility into the invisible. Um, so that's a lot of value. We have some healthcare organizations that have specifically said, Gary, we kind of love what you're doing with your deceptive thing, but really we just need visibility into 900 megahertz. Can you help me with that? And the software defined radio allows me to focus in on that spectrum for them. The other thing that we're doing is we're moving customers away from being reactive with intrusion detection. If you think what intrusion detection does, it's nothing more than a database of known signatures against known attacks. Well, IoT is brand new. There is no known attacks. So you can't do traditional methods of security to detect that. So the intrusion deception that we're doing with Air Decoy is the industry's first at being able to bait a customer's environment, lure them in or through our SDN, software defined networking capabilities, reroute suspicious malicious traffic to this uh, deceptive network so we can start to fingerprint for the first time these new attacks. So we're one of the first to start collecting the secure IoT security threat intelligence. Uh, we're deployed at both large, the two largest casinos in the world have already deployed our technology and they run a very large uh, security conference every year in Las Vegas. And within the first you know, couple of months, we've already gathered over five million unique hits within our deceptive networking. And a lot of these attackers change their MAC address and IP address, but what never changes is the months and years they've spent on creating attack code. So our deceptive networking allows us to fingerprint the attack code. And I'll say the other thing that we're doing is uh, we're moving customers to a scalable cloud architecture. So all of our sensors report into a, a, a single cloud uh, portal for big data analytics. Uh, th so therefore there's no expensive on-premise hardware required which is traditional with a legacy type solution. So that's some of the value propositions that we're bringing to the table and that we're giving you know, broader visibility. We're fingerprinting um, new attacks based on the profiles of uh, attack fingerprinting. And we're doing it on a continuous basis. Yeah, sure. So, so uh, within our system, not only are we detecting your basic Wi-Fi communications, but things like Bluetooth. Um, protocols like Zigbee, uh, protocols like NFC, S-Beam, these are all frequencies that run within the phone or within the cars. And yes, we need to be able to fingerprint and do wireless intrusion detection on Bluetooth. And we have some customers that have come to us and said, hey, just give me the Bluetooth intrusion detection. So we have innovation in around trying to find the needle in the haystack. So we ignore the pairing between the headset and the phone and just look for that data rate. Um, so that's one, one, a great example of this new innovative uh, intrusion detection that we're doing with Bluetooth. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk to you.